Okay, on the 737NG, this is called the uh, EFIS control panel. Um, actually, this is also the same as on the 777 and the 747-400. Uh, so, this actually controls the ND, the navigation display, and the PDF. It controls different things. So, like for example, this one right here, this is a range selector. So, if I move it, it's going to show the different ranges, and it's divided evenly. So, this is 20, so that means this is 10, 20, and then the next one's going to be 40. Okay? And now another one, it means this is 5, this is 10, and this is 20. It always doubles. Alright, well, I'm just going to leave it back down where it was. Okay. Uh, and even I bring it down to five. So it's two and a half nautical miles. This is five nautical miles. And whatever happened, and this is uh, 1.25 nautical miles. Alright. So that's, uh, that's the uh, range knob. The uh, mode selector here the, uh, for the navigation display is this. So. Okay, this is plan mode. This is where the pilots, um, that's where the pilots, they go through the flight plan, make sure that everything looks good, every leg is there, that every waypoint, and everyone's going in the right direction. This is the normal, this is the map mode. This is, uh, uh what's normally used throughout the flight. It shows, you know, the flight path and other various things on there. Okay. This is a uh, VOR mode. The VOR mode is very basic. Uh, it has a little OBS right there. And this is approach mode. It also has a little OBS here, but it also has a uh, glide slope here. So in this case, in approach mode, this would actually be localizer and glide slope. See, this is uh, that's don't worry about that because it's uh, we're on the ground and nothing is aligned, and so don't worry about that. So okay, so put it back on map mode. All right, navigation display VOR page actually shows the VOR frequency that's currently tuned in. That's why it wasn't showing it disagree. It was a disagree because that's not an ILS frequency. At least that's what I believe. So I could be wrong, but I think that's why. Okay, so go back to the map mode. Okay, now um, these two they control what's on the PFD. So PFD, you have your minimums, minimum altitude. Okay, so I can just move this here like that. It's not an actual knob, it's just one of these little things that pushes back and forth like that. Alright. So, anyways. And then this, and this other one, this is the barometric pressure. Same, uh, same concept, so just push, release, push, release, turn and release, and that's it. Alright. Another neat thing is this, meters, so if you're going international and they give a a uh, altitude in meters or in feet, you can, it's automatically calculated. So you push this button right here, meters, and it'll give you meters. So I'm selecting a different altitude, it gives me automatically uh, what it is in meters. I'm going international. So, anyways, that's all for this video. Until next time.